Hi guys and welcome to your reading. This is a timeless love reading for Virgos. We're meditating on your cards with this uh, lovely chunk of rose crystal quartz there for you. Now how are you guys doing? I hope you're all doing well. Let's see what's happening in your love life, Virgo. There we go. This is a timeless love reading, so whenever you come across this reading, be the right time for you. Okay, guys, let's see what's happening in your love reading. Straight away, we've got one there that wants to come out. Ooh. Nine of Pentacles. There we go, guys. Are you happy being single at the moment, Virgo? Because you are in your element there. Successful. You've got everything you need, apart from maybe that special person that gives you that fuzzy feeling inside. Mm, Virgo, let's see. At the moment, you are doing just fine on yourself. You're doing, you're doing you, Virgo. You are doing you. This one's flipped over. The moon. The moon. Mm, we've got hidden feelings someone's got hidden feelings and the four of cups has flipped what's with all these flipper cards nine of pentacles the moon four of cups there mm, you're keeping something hidden within you virgo you're doing a lot of contemplating at the moment or something's hidden from you You're not seeing an offer that's coming in. Someone's offering you their cup of love. Ooh. Let's see who. Who's coming into this Virgo's life? Because you're pretty successful by yourself at the moment, Virgo. You're doing A-OK. -okay. What's hidden from you? I think you may have a secret admirer, Virgo. But you're not seeing it at the moment. But you're going to be. Ace of Rods. Fast communication is coming in. Mm. I hope this is all in focus for you guys. The light is fading here in the UK. So I just hope that you can see the cards clearly but anyway let's get on with the reading we've got news coming in mm, let's see what that is again someone's not happy someone's not happy with what they've got But you're not telling anybody about it, Virgo. Mm. You're not telling anybody. Not yet, anyway. But you will be. Two of Cups. I like to call this a lover's card, but it obviously it's not the lover's card but it's the two of cups it's that strong connection with somebody there strong connection chemistry the way you make each other feel you've got someone who's got their eye on you virgo Ooh, and they want to offer you their cup of love. Mm. We're going to have an offer coming in, I think, soon, Virgo. Let's see where this is going. Someone's making the decision to come in. Someone is making the decision, I think, to make you at that offer. To declare their love. They see you as smart. 
abundant in your element. Oh, there's a surprise, the Ten of Swords. Hmm, wasn't expecting that card. Maybe you're by yourself, Virgo, because somebody stabbed you in the back. And you decided to get into your power and go it alone. But someone's coming in. And there they are. The Knight of Pentacles. For instability, the steady Knight of Pentacles, stability, grounded, five of rods. You're not sure whether to trust this connection or not, Virgo. Not sure whether they're going to stab you in the back as well. Or will be a similar pattern to maybe what you've gone through. But this person is pretty reliable. They've got their stuff together. Yep. And there you go. There's the Six of Rods. Victory. Whatever's coming in for you, Virgo, it's going to be good. What's on the bottom of the deck for this? Six of Pentacles. They're going to definitely be making you an offer here. There's an offer coming in. Let's get some clarification with the uh, with our second deck here. Give me some clarification, please, for our lovely Virgos. Yeah, the King of Pentacles. Someone's definitely coming in with a stable offer here for you, Virgo. This is somebody who's got their stuff together. They're stable, reliable. Probably got a house. And they see you as the same way, or they see... That you're emotionally stable anyway but someone's not happy with with either an offer or a past offer something that's coming before let's have a look at this yeah the moon why are you this it's as if you don't trust this Again, we have the moon here, the second, again, so this is, again, the, the, the second card that was pulled in the first reading, the moon has come out again as the second card. Maybe you're looking too far into things, something you're not trusting here. This was similar to the Taurus one. Okay, we've got this card and another card's just falling out there. We've got the strength. This is mind over heart. So you're trying to not let your heart run away with itself, Virgo. And then we've got the Ten of Wands. You're not moving in this situation. There's the Eight of Swords. It's as if you're paralysed. You don't know what way to go. Maybe, you don't, maybe you're not sure whether to accept this offer because you, your life is good as you are. 
and you're unsure of trusting somebody again. You're looking into it, the Eight of Pentacles. You're looking into it. Chariot. There's a decision there that you're going to make. See that lady there? She's about to step onto the red carpet. She's about to step out. She's about to make her decision what way she's going to go. You're going to make a decision on this. There we go. And out of the shadows comes the Hierophant. You're going to reveal your feelings to this person. And there they are. You've got the Page of Swords. Which this person could be spying on your social media. or And then you've got the Knight of Wands here. The romantic Knight of Wands who wants to offer his love. Mm. There's a judgment that's going to be made here. You're going to announce your decision soon, Virgo. And what is that decision going to be? To do with this connection, to do with this offer. Are you going to accept it? Let's find out. Oh, that one wanted to come out, so let's find out. Are you going to accept this offer? You think there's competition? It's a five of wands. You're not sure. Is it too good to be true? Five of Wands. I'm not sure whether you can trust this person or whether you can, is it going to give you what you want in this relationship? Is it going to really give you what you want? Hmm. You're holding back. Again, you're holding back. Did someone leave you out in the cold, uh, Virgo? Did someone leave you out in the cold, Virgo? Or did you leave somebody out in the cold? Hmm. Someone feels left out. Somebody feels left out of this connection. Four of Swords, you're thinking again. You're taking time out to think about this. And there's a flyer. Yep, the Three of Pentacles. Someone wants to build something with you, Virgo. Someone wants to build on this connection with you. They can see a future with you. But do you see it with them? Why are you holding back from this? Knight of Swords. You think you're dealing maybe with a player? You're not sure if you can trust this person. Again, this is trust. It's the same as the Taurus one. There's a trust issue here. Whether you want to give up what you've got for somebody. Or well, that's how you feel. Nine of Wands. Just don't know what way to turn with this. You're nearly there with it. You're nearly there at making the decision with this person, with this connection. Ace of Pentacles. 
there's abundance in this relationship this relationship it, it, there's success here someone is offering you their ace of pentacles you want to start a new journey with somebody you want to start afresh with somebody you want to start a new life with somebody you want to have faith with that well, I think you're going to this one wanted to come out yep, there's choices here seven of cups and you're worried to make the wrong choice you're worried about making the wrong choice here nine of cups hmm Because you're happy as you are. Maybe you think you've got to give up something in order to be with this person. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, you think you have to give up something in order to be with somebody. You think you're going to either lose your independence or, you know, it's... it's there's a juggling situation here and you think you're going to have to give something up in order to be with somebody seven of wands you're, you're being mysterious about this Virgo you're keeping things hidden this person can't read you now starring yep seven of pentacles there we go you need to put work into this in order for this to come through and succeed because here you want to be the star of the show you want success but you need to work at this you need to put effort into this relationship or this connection because otherwise someone's going to get disillusioned with it and you're going to there's competition here there's competition here. Here, there's competition here. You see all these other people wanting to go for, you know, and you're not sure. If you don't make a move, you're going to maybe lose this person. Or vice versa. I mean, whatever resonates, guys could be you could be the other way around they could lose you if they're going to keep you hanging on and not make a decision and keep juggling as it, again just take what resonates leave the rest behind let's get one more clarifying card on this give me a clarifying card for our lovely virgos where is all this heading Ace of Wands, there's success here and there's a lot of passion here. Someone's going to come forward and tell you how they feel. Or you're going to open up with somebody and tell them how you feel. But there's a lot of fiery, passionate energy here. You know, you've got someone's heart on fire. And there they go, the Knight of Pentacles. They're slowly coming out and revealing their feelings for you there's a tower moment so whatever happens there's change coming in on this whether you like it or not there's a there's a decision a decision that's going to be made with this and it leads to your two of cups You're going to have that happy ever after. The connection is there. Finally, after all of this, someone gets their move on. Decides to come out onto the star. 
you know, Knight of Pentacles is st is stability, but it's one of the slowest knights in the in the in the tarot deck. When they decide that, it's going to change everything, and you're going to have your Two of Cups. Well, I hope you've enjoyed your reading today, Virgo. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, click the little notification bell. I'll be doing some surprise reading soon. Um, but uh, yeah, click the little notification bell and you'll be uh, notified as soon as I update my channel. As always, thanks guys for tuning in. It really is encouraging me um, to carry on with these readings. I do love doing tarot readings. Um, and as always, believe in yourself and follow your dreams, guys. Stay blessed.